Hey there, folks. So, we got something super duper amazingly exciting tonight on the stream. A brand new, well, almost brand new, game for the TRS-80. And uh, it comes like in like this old style packaging, like in a plastic bag, basically, uh, with like an insert and a cassette tape there. For some reason, the cassette tape doesn't have any text on it. He could have written, like, you know, Rockstar on it, but whatever, it doesn't. It just has, like, a nice color thing that matches in with the color scheme of the of the overall packaging. And um, there's actually a disc version and a cassette version, but the disc version does not have sounds, and the cassette version does have sounds, so it was an easy choice for me to get the cassette version. And I've loaded it up here. Well, I'm, I loaded it up already to make sure it works. I'm going to load it up now in the emulator um, and actually load the tape. So let's type in C load. And you can see the tape court counter is advancing as it loads. And you can see the stars blinking as it loads. Just like a regular play, actual hardware TRS-80. And uh, it takes a little bit of time because it's a, it's a you know fairly large program. Although it, I think it said it fixed in 16K. So that even people with not such great TRS-80 systems would be able to, to load it. Although you do need level 2, I don't think it'll work in level 1. Uh, that's why I have it running in level 2 basic for those uh, technically inclined. And uh, basically, you'll see the game. I, I mean, I didn't play it for like more than 5 minutes. I just made to try to make sure it worked. But it's a... Um, it's like inspired by the game um, called Rockstar Ate My Hamster. From, I think, 1989, it was on the Amiga and the Spectrum and um, Amstrad and some other computers, maybe the C64. Um, I think it came out of the UK. And uh, this gentleman here who, who created this game, um, it's, it's by Dreamland Software. And you can't really see because the tape is covering it, but it says here, Dreamland Software. The guy's name is Cat Mantra. He's in the uh, TRS-80 Facebook group. And uh, he seems I think he's a Brit. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. He seems like an interesting guy. I think you have to be an interesting guy in order to make TRS-80 games in 2020. Um, but we're all, at least I'm very happy that there's somebody that's still making TRS-80 games in 2020. It's pretty freaking awesome. So this game is a two-player version and a one-player version. I'm going to start with the one-player version, and um, then maybe I'll try the two-player version. Maybe somebody in the, in, the, in the chat, if somebody joins, wants to play with me. Um, and I, if there's time, what I may do in the middle is run another um, episode of Sea Load Magazine. I went to issue number four of that, uh, so that might we might do that as well. But the main attraction here is certainly Rockstar, and I don't know who this is a a real guy or probably it probably is somebody that I should I should recognize him, and I'm not for some reason. I thought it was Bon Jovi in the beginning, but I don't think it is. I, I don't maybe it's from a movie. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows, let, let me know in the chat or in the comment section. Um, anyway. It looks it looks like a, a really interesting game, and you see it's still loading because uh, the, the the piece of tape that it was on was I think about four minutes long uh, because there's a lot of code that needs to be written. It's written in basic; it's not machine language. Anyway, uh, this is I see there's a few people watching, so uh, if you're if you're here and you got something to say, please uh, type something in the chat. I love interacting with the people that are that are on the live stream. That's that's what makes this fun. Obviously, what makes it fun for you is when the game's actually going, which will be pretty soon. But I could have just skipped ahead to the you know the game, but like it's you know you got to get the full old school experience by actually having the thing load too off the tape. <laughs> so you remember what it was like back in the day. Um, and uh, I will I'll be doing a lot of these TRS-80 games um, in the next coming few months probably. I have a very nice collection of physical TRS-80 games. So I was very happy to add this one to my physical media collection, um, but uh, I got a lot more, I got, actually, this this guy, a cat from Dreamland Software, he sold me several several other games that are all new. This is the first one that I'm trying out, but I expect to try the other ones as well, and there's also another gentleman, um, I forget the name off the top of my head, who also released a brand new TRS-80 game just this year, in 2021, um, and I'm going to look forward to try that as well. Then I got still tons more stuff to play for Big Five and Scott Adams and, you know, Venture International and everything else you could think of from the TRS-80 world. So expect to see a lot more TRS-80 stuff on the stream. I just really, I just love TRS-80. Uh, hey, Jennifer, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. And thanks for the applause. I don't know what, the, what you're applauding, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just got started here, but uh, no, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. 
And yeah, I think this is, uh, you'll, you'll get to see this. It's gonna be, it's, it'll be fine. I have my headphones in because there is some sound in this game, as I mentioned, in the cassette version. And uh, now, let me just get my screen adjusted the way I want it. Okay. Uh, actually, now, you know what? Now that the cassette is done loading, I'm going to turn off that window. And I'm going to put back on my picture. Stu's Game Reviews. Oh, now it's a wave. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's let's run the game. Get out of the way there. Let's run the game. Here we go. Run. Did you hear that? I think you heard that. <laughs> Dreamland Software presents... Rockstar. <laughs> that great audio effects of the TRS-80. Copyright Dreamland Software 2020, coding by Cat Mantra. You have one year to make it to the top of the album chart. You must choose wisely on when to rehearse, when to perform, when to do a publicity stunt, and when to release your singles. Hint, if you don't rehearse, you won't get anywhere. Unlike modern bands, in many cases, you wouldn't know a guitar from a harpsichord. This guy's a classic, you know, old school guy. The more you rehearse, the bigger venues you'll play. This game is set in the era of the TRSA where the music industry rocked. So I guess it's late 70s, early 80s. Your album cannot be number one before you've released three singles. Okay, good to know. And hit world tour when your opponent is inside the top 100. So like I said, I'm going to try first against the computer and uh, the, probably the easy mode. Are you ready to roll? I'm ready to rock. But let's go for it. I'm not type. I'm just waiting for the instructions to finish going. All right, one or two players. Let's go one player. Our difficulty level. I'm a living legend, superstar, up and cover, or it's my first go. Ridiculously easy. So I'm going to pick that last one. Player one. Input band slash artist name. Um, let's do the Stew Crew. <laughs> I know, I'm not very imaginative. And the AI band is Adam and the TRS 80s, like Adam and the Ants, I guess. The Stu Crew, what is your album title? Uh, I don't know. How about Rock Hard? <laughs> AI to album title, Oregon Trail Rocks. I'm pretty sure the name of the title doesn't matter. So it's the Stu Crew versus Adam and the TRS 80s. I'm not sure there should be an apostrophe there, but whatever. Let's rock! Sounds good to me. Alright, so each turn, it's like a strategy game. I have I have like a, I have to decide what to do. And I don't know how to play this. I don't know what's like a good thing to do and what's not. But I did he did say that like you have to rehearse a lot. Um the first time I tried it, I only played for five minutes. I rehearsed and then I tried to release a single. I figured you probably should release a single before you tour, but I think actually you probably should tour first, because maybe tour in this case doesn't mean like go around the world, it means, like, like world tour, it means, like, go play a pub or something. I'm not really sure. Let me rehearse, first of all. Press the R. Can you hear that, Jennifer? It's like, a little, they play a little guitar riff. It wasn't a very good one, but... <laughs> Alright, so now it's the computer's turn. The computer's picking. Our leads... Alright, they chose publicity stunt. They seem like they choose that a lot for my previous game. And this is the very easy... Oh, wow, that actually worked for them. Rockstar streaks through London. Great publicity, boss. So they got publicity by streaking through London. That's not something I would necessarily do, even if I could get good publicity for it, but, you know, that's just me. So Rock Hard by the Stew Crew is at number 301 on the charts, even though I didn't release any music yet. And Oregon Trail Rocks by Ab the TRS 80s is at number 665, so I guess the publicity didn't really do much for them. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to rehearse again. You gotta rehearse, right? Alright, good. Jennifer says we're getting the game audio. So, sounded groovy, boss. Again. Add the TRS 80s. Oh, they're actually rehearsed this time. Okay, cool. So, I don't know if this changes or you get the same sound every time. And I guess you couldn't get more than a. Okay, charts time. Was that the same music before? Rock Hard by the Stew Crew, number 309. Well, again, I didn't release an album even, so why is it even on the charts? I don't know. Oregon Chill Rocks by Adam the TRS 80s, 673. Okay. I'm going to rehearse one more time, and then I'm going to try to go on a tour. Let's see what happens. 
So again, that's, I wish the music would change a little bit. It's cool that there's music, but I wish the music would change a little bit. I mean, it's not very good music. So he's thinking... It's nice that they give you this status while they're thinking, so you know that something's going on. Or another publicity stunt. Headline news. Oh, they got another publicity again. When I played the first time, like they, they, every time they tried to do publicity, they were like, they were not getting any publicity. But I guess their publicity is that they're a bunch of nudists. That's their... <laughs> it's like, come see nudists. Rock hard by the Stew Crew, 314s. I'm going down, because I'm not actually playing at all. Jennifer says, should you release a single before you go on tour? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm confused, because I think that's what I did last time. But, like... Like, theoretically, you're thinking if you don't release a single, then what are you playing on your tour? But, like... I was thinking, like, maybe a tour is, like, go play a pub gig and just play, like, some songs that are actually officially releasing a single, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to try tour this time. Well, I, I, But I don't know. It's a good question. Tour time, boss. Groovy, baby. The game has, like, some nice... Like, sort of spirit to it. We got concert halls. A oh, wow. Average attendance, 24 49 Blimey, boss. Is that good or bad? It sounds good to me. I'd be happy for getting 24 49 <laughs> people. I right, so they rehearsed again. This is only the second time they rehearsed because they did a bunch of publicity stunts. Let's see how that did for me with the charts. Rock Hard by the Stew Crew. <laughs> it got worse. Jennifer, maybe you're right. I don't know because that didn't do anything for me. Let's try to release a single this time. It's a, they're, they're doing poorly also, though. I think maybe just because it's on easy mode, they're doing really poorly. Let me try to release a single. Single time. Single title. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> TRS-80 Rock. I'm not going to be a musician anytime soon. Cool title. Release approved. I like how they play with the fonts, though. All right, so now the computer's turn. Rehearse. Okay. I guess I have to keep rehearsing also. Charts time. Let's see if I get any, got any movement on the charts here. Here's a rock by the suit. Oh, 198. So releasing the single actually made a big difference. I got like 100 points up on the chart. He also moved up quite a bit, though. I don't know why he didn't do anything. I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to spend one time, one turn rehearsing. Oh, no, that's me. Sorry, I'm three. Wait, wait, hold on a second. My single was 198. My album didn't go up. It's still 325. That his album didn't do anything either. All right, let me do rehearse, and then I'll try to tour again now that I have a single. To Jennifer's point. What do you think of this game, Jennifer, so far? I mean, obviously we just started it, but, uh... I mean, it's interesting. This is a new game in 2020 for the TRS-80. But then again, like, I paid basically... I mean, not really, close to full price for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're doing really good to the publicity. Rockstar throws TV out of aeroplane. Front page news. Wow. Maybe they should they should be dead by doing that, throwing a TV out of the airplane. Okay, my album went down. I'm sure. Three thirty six. So they're still not doing well though. Even though they're getting all this publicity. I'm right, gonna try to tour now. Now that I have a single, let's see what happens. Tour time. Groovy baby. Stadium tour. Wow. Before it's a concert, right? Now I got a stadium? Whoa. Average attendance 78,790. We are superstars. Jennifer says, seems interesting so far, especially if you start tracking multiple singles and albums. Yeah, this is the very easy mode, remember? So it may be just like being nice to me. They keep getting the same headlines. <laughs> I don't know if that's really helping them or not. 
They should change the name of their group from Adam and the TRS 80s to like Naked Guy and the TRS 80s. <laughs> I guess Adam. <laughs> I guess that makes sense actually. He's Adam. All right, so my single didn't do anything. My album, let's see. 275. So it got a little bit better. But I'm surprised it didn't get better than that, given that it's like I got sold out of stadium. 80,000 in a stadium, you'd think like that's pretty decent. All right, let me let me rehearse and then I'll release another single and then I'll tour again. Sounded groovy, boss. I wish there was a little more variety in the messages. Um, I wish like if there was a few different messages that cycled between as opposed to just saying Sounded groovy, boss every time or like. One time I want to see it say, like, you suck. In that game Rockstar Ate, Ate My Hamster, the game that, that's the, the inspiration for this, There's you can take drugs and, like, your guys can get killed and a lot of things can happen. I'm, obviously, it's running on a much more you know, complex computer than the TRS-80. Uh, publicity study your name out there, then go on tour. Okay, should I release a single first? Another single, Jennifer? What do you think? I'll release another single, then I'll do a publicity stunt. And then I'll go on tour. He's not doing too well. I think it went, went down again. All right, let's release a single. All right, single time. Single title. Um, all you need is code. <laughs> I will lose it, right? <laughs> release approved. I tried writing FU the first time I played, but I was not streaming, and it said release approved also cool title, so I don't think there's any checking for, like, v vulgarity or anything like that. Rockstar ate my hamster. There you go. All news is good news, boss. So that's, like, the title. That's the, the game that they, they got the, the uh, you know, inspiration from. All right, so I have two singles that are charting. All you need is code by the Stew Crew. Number 19. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Like, where's the other where's the other single? Like it knocked the other one off? Rock car by the Stu Crew number two eighty two. Alright, so now I have like a hit single though. <laughs> she never said, oh snap nineteen. Alright, so let me go up to a publicity stunt. Let's see if it does anything. Rockstar ate my burrito? Front page boss? That's front page. I ate a burrito? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. All right, now I'll, I'll rehearse. They're also gonna the use. They're, they're still those guys are crazy, obviously. So we're both on the front page, apparently. So I don't know if you compete against each other or if you just compete against yourself. I don't think you could both be number one at the same time, obviously. But uh, all you just code. I went down to number twenty nine while well, I was doing my publicity stunt. That's not good. All right, well that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more rehearsal and then I'm going to do a tour. It looks my album is doing better than it was before. It's, it's like the two hundred instead of the three hundreds. Let's rehearse. I sort of wish I could speed it up a little bit because it's night. The sound was cool the first time, but like. Again, it doesn't change. I wish it changed a little bit. I wish it was some randomness of the code or something. Gardner crashes lamp. So, okay, that's what, that was happening in the previous game I was playing. They kept getting other news that was knocking their headline news off, so they were, like, spending time on news article, and it wasn't happening anyway. This time they were getting lucky. All right, so now I'm down to number 35. I definitely need a tour. Let's, I mean, there should also be an option like call the radio station, like harass the DJ to play your song or something like that, you know, like, hey, Jeremy, Grandpa Stu, is that because of the beer? No, because I'm playing TRS-80 games. <laughs> All right, let's see, tour. Tour time. Groovy baby. Stadium tour again. Wow. Oh, my te average attendance went down quite a bit. Now it's just we rock instead of I'm a superstar. 
So that's not good. I, see, I don't, I don't really know what uh, both. Huh? I don't really know what the logic is behind the scenes here. That's the thing. I'm only guessing at what's the right thing to do, and I guess that's how it's supposed to be. If you knew exactly what to do, then it wouldn't be really a game. It would just be a routine. I guess I need to do single, probably. Yeah, Scott agreed, but I think I have to release a single. That's what I'm going to do. Release a single. Cause I, I had another single, but it disappeared. My album did get slightly better. So let's release a single. Release single. What's the single title? Um, uh, I don't know. Anybody have a good title? Stu's Pretty Little Tutu. <laughs> Alright, fine. Stu's Pretty Little <laughs> Tutu. Cool title. Release approved. This should like like get land me in the, in the garbage theoretically. No one's gonna watch that. <laughs> no one's gonna listen to that or, or rather. This is, this is the late seventies. They didn't have MTV yet. It's gonna be off the charts. Scott says. Let's see. Charts time. Singles chart. Stu's pretty little to do by the Stu crew. Oh my god, number one! <laughs> Scott, that was a great title for the song. Rock Hard by the Stew Crew. It's still at number 210. I have to tour now to promote my, my single, right? <laughs> Scott says, boom! Alright, I guess I'll tour, right? I'm going to tour. Should I tour or rehearse? I'm going to tour while I still have a number one single. Tour. Tour, tour, tour. Stadium tour. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 95,000. We are superstars. All right. Jeremy says, interesting game. Yep, it is interesting. All right, let's see after that what, what the, uh, the, the album is tracking at. I think I have enough singles too to, to do go a world tour if I want to. He says he tells you three singles to do a world tour. Let's see. Stu's pretty little tutu. And number went down to number eleven. Makes it rehearse. I don't know. Album charts. Rock hard by the Stu Crew. What? <laughs> well, it's better than it was before, but it's still like pretty lousy. Number 559. See, I want to play this again with two-player mode with one of you guys in the chat playing against me. Because that'll be more fun than doing against the computer. But uh, let me let me release another single. Oh, oops. Bad news, boss. The label or Pluto single release yet. Did I lose a turn? Oh, I didn't lose a turn. Okay. Um, that's interesting. I wonder why not. Uh, I guess we'll rehearse. When does Jimi Hendrix come in? Take over? Jimi Hendrix is dead, I think. I mean, when, when, did, when did Jimi Hendrix die? Did he die, like, in the 60s? This game takes place in the time of the TRS-80, so I don't think there's any Jimi Hendrix. Oh, so the, now they're going on tour. So what happened to their tour? They got concert halls. So they're definitely behind me. He is. Well, you know he's dead now. I'm saying, when did he? When did he die? He died before the before this. 2099. That's like Spider-Man 2099. Singles chart. Stu's pretty little tutu by the Stu Crew. Oh, my rehearsal made my single go up for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Album charts. Rock hard by the Stu Crew is number 157. All right, can I, can I do a world tour now? Well, let me let me see if I can do a world tour. Let's see if I can do a world tour. W. We can't do that yet, boss. Okay, so I, I can't. And I can't release another single either? No, no new single. Alright, so I have to tour, I guess. Or I can do a publicity stunt. But let's do let's do a tour. 60s or 70s? 
Yeah, he was at Woodstock, but that was in the sixties, wasn't it? We both we're all showing like how, how like ignorant we are. I think right now. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do another tour. Tour time. It's like tool time. Tim the tour man Taylor. <laughs> Stadium tour. Come on, I want to get like my ninety five thousand again. I probably. Oh 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 no. They're getting tired of me. They're going crazy, but they're tired of me. I didn't sell out the stadium this time. What am I supposed to do? Keep rehearsing? Do a publicity stunt? They're still in concert halls, these other guys. Pfft, you guys suck. Look good, boss! Ain't nothing wrong with this car, boss! Charts time. Singles chart. Come on. It takes a long time. Ah, I'm at number one again. Nice. Stu's pretty little to do by the Stu crew. After my tour, my album is still 145. May they let me do another single now. If I can't do a single, I'll try a publicity stunt. I don't know why, but at least single. Alright, here we go. Single time. Oh, we've already released all the singles the label will allow us, boss? Oh, man. Can I do world tour? Can't do that yet, boss. I think it said the instructions. You can only do a world tour when your opponent is... is His album is doing at least, like, the like below 100. But he's never going to get there, that guy, so I don't know. Alright, I'll do publicity stunt. That was probably good, right? Fred Page, Rocks to Write My Burrito. People really love the heart-wrenching song about a tutu Scott says. <laughs> Alright, they're rehearsing. Do you guys want me to play this until the end, or do you want me to stop, and uh, then we can try a two-player game? I want to see if I can beat this thing, but... It seems like it's taking a long time. I guess it should... I mean, theoretically, it should take a long time. Like, I paid good money for this game. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. 20 pounds, maybe, you know? So, like, it can't end in five minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, 132. So the publicity stunt helped. Okay. I'll try to rehearse again now. I guess I can't do any more singles. Scott wants to see where this leads. Okay. Let's rehearse. We have to rehearse, and then we'll go to the tour. We're going on tour with our single, our one single. How, what, how this, how, what's my name my song again? Stu's Tutus or something? Stu's Pretty Little Tutu. It's Stu's Pretty Little Tutu. That's not a rock band. How, how, what kind of rock song can have Stu's Pretty Little Tutu? Oh yeah, it's Stu's Pretty Little Tutu! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, wait, we got concert halls. Uh, is that them? That's them, right? Okay, good. I thought that was me for a second. They're doing poorly. Looking good, boss. They should fire their manager because uh, their manager is, like, leading them down a bad path here, it looks like. Stu's pretty little tutu. It's so pink and pretty and it wears it so well. It's Stu's pretty little tutu, yeah. Stu's pretty little tutu. <laughs> Jennifer wants to hear the rest of the single. <laughs> I just did an alternate, an alternate track for you, Jennifer. All right, let's... Uh, can you world tour? No, we can't. All right, let's try the regular tour. Tour. Tour time. A, a stadium is not good enough for me. I want to sell out, like, freaking, like, Central Park. <laughs> I need a drink cleaner for my ears. <laughs> That's a song you probably don't want the neighbors to overhear. You guys are so mean. You guys are mean to me. <laughs> it's Stu's pretty little tutu. I need someone to write me some lyrics so that I can make up a song. I'm like Elton John. Pretty little tutu. It was the sweetest tutu in the, on the block. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, my album went up. Okay, good. Number 97. What happened to my single? It disappeared. It's not charting anymore. 
Jim Carrey wore a pink tutu and Ace Ventura, and he's a comedic genius. That's true. Okay, can I can I release another single now? Because that's not off the chart anymore. Will it let me? No, it will not. Okay. I need a new label. Screw this label. All right, can I do a world tour? <laughs> they can't do a world tour either. Okay, let us uh, do a publicity stunt, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I did. The th now it's not. I'll throw the TV out of the airplane. I don't know why I can't go out and like uh, do another single. Like my my label really sucks. If they won't let me release more than three singles on my album, like all these people release like five, six singles sometimes. If they're actually good songs. Charts time. Album charts. Rock Hard by the Stew Crew. Number. Hey, it went down. That sucks. It was in the hundreds. It was 97 before. He also climbed out of a rhino something. I have to see that movie again, I think. <laughs> I don't remember that part. I'm going to rehearse. Come on. I want to be able to go world tour. Uh, I gotta think of some more good good words for the song. It's Stu's crazy little tutu. It's the craziest tutu of them all. Yeah, that's not really hard. I mean, it's hard rock or soft rock. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, album charts: Rock Hard by the Stu Crew, number 104. Casey Kasem says this doesn't chart yet. It's not in my top ten. But if it was, it would be number 104. And now at number 416, we have Oregon Trails Rocks by Adam and the Tiracides. Uh, let's see. Um, I still can't do World Tour, right? Nope. All right, I guess I have to tour again. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Keep touring. Keep touring. Keep touring. Groove it, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah. They're going crazy, but they're only 62,000 fans in average. Where's my... Oh, make or break. Hey, now he's world... How can they be able to go on world tour? What the hell? What? What kind of crap? What the hell happened? Okay, at least that did. not <laughs> What the heck was that? How come I don't I don't understand why can we go? They could go a world tour and I can't. What am I? What am I doing? Did I not do enough publicity stunts or something? I can't do any more singles. And they, they definitely did more publicity stunts than I did. Let me do another publicity stunt. I don't know. See, I didn't even get the credit for that one because we missed out on that because Aston Villa win the Premier League. Yeah, I was robbed. What about the World Tour option? I'm trying to click that, but it didn't let me. It's too soon. Now they're gonna they they still they're still in concert halls. They're like doing terribly, but they're able to go on a World Tour for some reason. It said make or break on the bottom by them. I don't know if they got like some special option or something. It's not really clear to me. By the way, this game comes with no instructions. Other than what's actually on the screen when you start the game. There's no instruction manual um, or anything like that that gives you any strategy or tips or tricks or anything. You know what I think? Actually, I think I understand. I don't really understand why, but it said at the beginning, you can't go on world tour until your opponent... Is under 100, so I guess he can go on world tour because I'm doing well as like a make or break thing to try to save his ass. I guess is what's happening here, but I can't go on world tour because he sucks, which doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make sense. How am I supposed to do like get, improve my? I can't release a single, so how, how can I? I guess keep touring, but all right, let me let me rehearse a bunch of times. How do you know what I'm doing then? I mean, I don't. I'm guessing here. Um, I cho I chose this as the first game to play from this company, Dream Dream well Dreamland Software, Dreamland Software, because it seemed like the simplest one. Oh, they they released a, a, a title, 
Asteroid of the Ants. Okay. They're going a little more methodical than I am here. Asteroid of the Ants by Abba Tier C is number 171. They're not like number one like I was. Yeah, so I, I try to play this game first because it's a little bit, seems like the simpler one. I'm at number 73. And, but they have another game which is like, they have like Star Trek in there and like Kobayashi Maru Test and Matara Nebula Battle of Star Trek 2. <laughs> I, I know you guys want to play that one, so I will do that at some point soon. Um, that actually looks more interesting to me as, you know, as a Star Trek fanatic, but I have no idea what it is yet. I haven't tried it at all. I just rehearsed again, and after now I'm going to try to, to tour one more time. Tour time, they're, they're touring. I sort of wish almost for their moves it would like, it would just go faster. And by the way, like, this guy can easily make changes to this program, it's brand new, so like, any, any positive constructive feedback that anybody has, feel free to give it because hopefully he'll watch the video and then, you know, if there's anything he can change, he'll change it. I, but the only problem is, like, I know he said that he worked really hard to squeeze this thing into 16K, so probably that limits the amount of, like, individual text responses that could exist in the game because there may just have not have been space to do anything else. But, uh, all right, I'm going to go on a tour again now. 243. But if I have to wait for this guy to do well, like, that's not good. Then, I, then like, I mean, I can't win the game until he gets under 100. Then that's, that's, that's a, that seems like a... That seems like a deficiency in the game. Not a bug, but a design flaw. So, if I just... If I'm just running in place here for a little bit, then I'm going to abort. And then I will... We'll try it again, maybe with somebody else. There needs to be groupy options, Scott says. Yeah, I agree. They're going crazy! I was I had 95,000 before, remember? And I feel like they see more options also, like call the radio station, like I said before. Um, I don't know what else. Okay, there are still the concert halls. <laughs> gropey options. <laughs> I don't think he meant gropey. I think he meant groupy. <laughs> Although groupies sometimes do do gropey, so it's sometimes people grope the groupies. So I guess, you know, the words are probably somewhat similar. All right, singles chart. My single's like not even on the charts anymore. Like it, it went off the charts because it's, it's, it's been out for too long, I think. Maybe I should have released the singles more... Ooh, my album is getting getting there. Can I go on another tour, like right after this first tour? I'll try to do that. Let's see if I can do a world tour. But it won't let me. What if I was to tour again? Will that make my thing get worse? Bad or worse? I don't know. We'll see. Better or worse? Theoretically, this should make it worse because, like, I'm not Billy Joel. Nobody wants to see me tour, like, again right after I toured the first time. But... Maybe, you never know, maybe I can build some hype for my previous tour. Oh, actually, I got more people this time. We are superstars. Yay! We're superstars! Do-do-do-do-do. That's what we are. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. They rehearsed. Oh, wait, actually, I think it just said just hanging out with some groupies. Did it just say that? I'm pretty sure it just said for, on their turn, they were just hanging out with some groupies. All right, charts time. Come on. Singles chart. Their dumb song. Asteroid of the Ants is at 189. How's my album doing? Come on. How's my album doing? Rock Hard by the Stew Crew. Number 17. I'm super close. I'm just going to tour again. I'm going to keep on touring. I'll try world tour. Can't do that yet, all right? Let's go to their tour. Tour. Tour time. Number 17 on the charts. It's only behind like every single other musician that you've heard of. Right now it's behind like ACDC and uh, Jackson 5 and uh, I don't know. <laughs> who is it behind? Um, Aerosmith and um, Elton John and uh, Genesis what happened? I wasn't even paying attention. What happened with my with my tour? That's their, This is their tour. What happened with my tour? Did I do okay? Did I get any any people coming to my to my uh, stadium or? Somebody tell me what happened because I missed it. I was busy like thinking of names of bands who would have been ahead of me on the charts. 
Charts time. Singles chart. Asteroid and the Ants by Adam the Tier Series number 193. And how's my aloe doing? Rock Hard by the Stew Crew. Number. Yes! Number one! I've made it to stardom! I am number one! I am this guy on the cover! See? Look at me! Woohoo! Game over! The Stew Crew is number one! With the multi platinum silly album. <laughs> rock Hard! Alright. I rock hard. And Adam the TRCA's final chart position was 219. I couldn't even do a world tour because they sucked so bad. Play again. All right. So that was, that was fun. You guys like that? What'd you think? Although I'm going to select no for play again. Too bad, boss. Your records will be collector's items when they end up at Goodwill. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. All right. Let's 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 take let's take a, a palate cleanse. And I'm going to load up the next uh, issue of Sea Load Magazine just so you guys can see what what's on there. But in the meantime, what did you guys think of this game? Brand new TRS-80 game. Scott says entertaining. And I want to know, what A, what you think of the game, and B, what do you... Does anybody have the guts to play against me in a head-on-head -head match that'll be slightly delayed, obviously? So you have to, you have to probably give me your moves a little bit in advance. Uh, how do I get this window back here? Uh, here, window capture two. All right, uh, let's load. Oops, load. Jeremy says, I hopped it late, but it seems intriguing. Fascinating, Captain. It's not that, it's not, you weren't, you weren't that late. Um, you'll see, since if you stay a little bit longer after I do the C load, I'll go back and do another run through the game, again, two player mode. But, uh, so Scott says there was. By the way, there was groupie option, Scott. So I hope that that satisfied you. Um, but Scott said it was entertaining. Anybody else have any other comments about the game? Because remember, the developers watching. So the, right now, what's going to happen tomorrow after the developer watches the stream? Either he's going to go off and make more TRS-80 games, or he's going to go off and like you know overdose. You know, God forbid, <laughs> or something. He's going he's to take some drastic action. You know, in 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 sadness because his game is not good. So, make sure your criticism is constructive, because I do want to see more games like this. But having said that, I want to see your guys' comments. Come on, you people in the chat, give me your give me your thoughts. This is Sea Load issue number four from June nineteen seventy eight. This is the cover for this, the cover article, not article, but the cover game, that game, the cover program for Sea Load issue four nineteen seventy eight, and you see. First of all, it's called the Audible Magazine, but because it's not a tape, but there's no sound, so it's not audible at all. It's just going through blowing up all this stuff here, so I'm not going to do this anymore. Scott, this is a fun game for sure. Adding some sort of finance or money element would be amazing, but there's a fun distraction. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, good description of it. And again, he had to keep it small to make it fit on the TRS-80 and for all computers. All right, so that's the cover. There's actually only one game on this issue of Sea Load Magazine. And it's not, you'll see what it is. It's not like the most conventional game we've ever seen. But uh, it is a game. So we're going to load that up quickly and see what that looks like. Any other opinions aside from Scott? Jennifer, Jeremy, Lurkers, anybody else have any thoughts on this game? Anybody happy that this guy, Cat Mantra, created a new TRS-80 game in 2020. I am happy, I will tell you that much. I think the game was pretty good. I think the game probably is better with two players, so I want to try it with two players. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy that I can buy a new TRS-80 game in 2020, that somebody's doing that. And uh, even comes with this great physical thing with like, on a cassette tape, with a plastic baggie. For a collector like me, that is pretty freaking awesome. But uh, who, who, any volunteers to play two players? Because if there's no volunteers, then it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Jennifer says, we were saying the hard difficulty was more neck and neck. Yeah, fair enough. I agree. And I think also um, two players should, there's no difficulty on the two players. That's just based on the, on the players. Jennifer says, never played any four, tier of City games. is all foreign to me. 
Jefferson, I think the World Tour limitation just detracted a bit. You should have to go early with a chance to belly flop. I agree. Scott says, sorry, I'm multitasking. Well, it's fine. You're the only one that said anything before. All right, so this is a game of the Knights Tour. This is, this is what passed for high entertainment in June 1978. The Knights Tour is a classic chess problem, the option of which is to move a single knight to each square every chessboard without visiting the same square twice. You can start in any square. The computer will keep track of all moves, not an illegal move. If no legal move to unvisited squares possible, the game ends. Squares are referenced by letter to number. Entry move by typing the letter first, followed immediately by the comma, the number, then hit enter. Tree draw the move, move or moves, hit enter zero, zero. So I will try to do this, even though... This is not as fun as, as a Rockstar, but it's also a TRS-80 game, and I do want to give this a little bit of coverage. Again, Sealoan Magazine was a really innovative um, really innovative magazine that you got by mail on the form of a, a tape and later a disc that you got games in the mail, basically, and other programs. There are actually two other programs on this issue. Both of them are sort of games, but they're really not games at all. It's like... Um, Here's a quadratic equation. Try to solve it. And you, you get it right? Yes, you got it right. You got 20 points. But, like, that's that's more of a math puzzle than a game. All right, so let's start at A8. I don't know if I'll be able to do this or not, but I'll at least make an attempt. I'm not, you know, I'm not the best in the world at this sort of thing, but I probably can make a fair attempt at it at least. So the idea is to take the, the knight and jump all around the board um, without... And you can't retrace your steps. So every place you were in before, they drop a little square there to let you know that you can't go back. So I'm just sort of going around randomly at this point. But you get if you don't if you don't do this right, then you get to a point pretty quickly where you're screwed, basically. Uh, like if I don't go to H1 now, I will be screwed because I there's, there's only two ways to get there, and I'm on one of them right now. So I don't have to go to H1. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this for sure. I'm not like the biggest, uh, the best mathematician or chess player in the world here, but it'll be an interesting thing to see how how many I can get. H5, uh, G7, and it's not gonna take that long either. E8. Uh, let's go C7. And I've basically made one like loop around right now. So now I'll go to A6. I'm trying to make another loop. B4. And while I'm doing this, um, I'm still looking for a volunteer to play... Oops, what happened? To play the other game. A2. C1. E2. Jeremy says he's out of here. All right, Jeremy, that's fine. You can leave, but you got to leave this thing on. I'm just kidding. Uh, aren't you streaming this on your channel also, Jeremy? <laughs> this is not going to take that long. Look, I've, I, I've already gone through most of the board. Uh, G5. So basically, I'm just taking a tour. It's called the Knight's Tour. Taking a tour around the chessboard. Just going to all the edges. Uh, F8. D7. That's another pass around the board. And let's go to B8. And let's go to... Let's see. C6, maybe. And then let's go to... B... Sorry, A7. I have no idea if I'm doing this right, but again, I'm trying here. Uh, B5. I feel like this is a... I don't know. I feel like I have a chance here, at least. Uh, A3. B1. D2. F1. I've already done half the board. H2. G4. If I realize at some point that I blew it, I'll just stop. Uh, H6. Bingo! 
G8. I'm still waiting for someone to offer to volunteer to play against me. Uh, not this, the other game. E7. Uh, C8. I think I may have already blown it. Um, D6. Oh, you're already back. That was quick. B7. A5. B3. It always tells you the top left how many legal moves you have. A1. Got that corner. C2. I know this is extremely exciting, everybody. E1. Teleportation? No, it's a horse. He's a horsey, Scott. He's a knight. G2. H4. G6. H8. We made homemade fish and sweet potato fries. Let's go. Oh, he, you think he teleported? I get it now. Uh, F7. And I gotta get D8. Two, one legal move. Okay, so I have to go to E6 now. It's the only place I can go. Alright, now. I've closed up the board here pretty significantly. <laughs> There's not much left to go. Um, I gotta think about this though. I'm probably gonna blow it somehow. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's not good. I feel like I already blew it. I gotta think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's, that's not good. I think I think I may have. Uh, I think I just has three levels of the board at least where I'm from. Scott says, "Are you playing like uh, that game?" I feel like I screwed this up already. I'm pretty sure I've screwed it up. There's only a few things left. I've, I've done 51 squares, right? I didn't miss anything on the edges. I just got to get uh, the sides there. Ooh, it's so close. Let's see if I jump there. No, no, no. I think I'm. I think I lost. I'm sure that I lost. Damn, it was really close, but I blew it somehow. I'm, I'm sure that I can't win. There are four lives. <laughs> I'm sure I can't win because this this guy there's there's three quarters left. Well, this actually that's not true. I get to this quarter last. This quarter first, maybe. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, then I'd be dead. If I go the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's, I, I lost. What a shame. I'm pretty sure I lost, though. Not quite as dramatic. Yeah, I I, I feel bad because I, I think... I know I could do this, like, if I had, you know... It's possible to do this, and I'm pretty sure I could do it. Like, I just had some... I just made a mistake somewhere along the way, but um, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be my day for this, uh, this puzzle. It seems like it's not happening. Which is okay. I guess I'll live to fight another time. But really, there's no... There's definitely nothing, no way to do this from here. Unless I could get to, yeah, it's, it's impossible. I would have to take this one out first. One. One, two. 
But I can show you why it's impossible, but let's do this by personal Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think I I think I think already blew the no-win scenario. Here, look, you'll see. I'll show you. I'll, I can't do it. Watch. D. D4. F3. E5. I feel like I, 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 I think I had it, but I blew it somehow. D. It probably matters a lot which one I go to now. D3 or, or C4. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I can't get those guys. Oh, hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I'm just going to go do it and see what happens. I think I blew it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I blew it. He blew it. He blew it. Uh, let's go to D3. C5. E4. Oh, it's so close. So close, but no cigar. One, two, three, four. Yeah. It's so close, but no cigar. I just cannot do it. No, whatever I do, I'm, I'm done. E3. C4. I lost. Oh, well. All right. Well, you get the idea. Knight to Queen's Gambit. Check me. <laughs> Knight to Queen's level three. That would really work to support it. All right. Well, that was a very poor display of the, the, the Knight's Tour, but you get the idea. And that again is what that, that that's what uh, sort of took the place of fun in June 1978. If you had Sea Load magazine, let's go back to 2020 now. I'm gonna load up the Rockstar game again, and hopefully we'll get something else here. But I'm still looking for a volunteer to play. Who's gonna play with me? Who in the chat is gonna play? Jeremy, are you gonna play? Scott, are you gonna play? Jennifer, if you're still there, are you going to play? If nobody plays, I'll just play the computer at a higher difficulty level. I, I'd much rather play against somebody in the chat. What happened? Oh, interesting. I want, like, uh, in my window that shows, like, the, uh, the my other computer that shows the uh, the stream, like, going, it's, it's, like, much earlier in the stream, and it's buffering. That's weird. Jeremy says people must have been very bored with video games back then. Yeah, actually, um, I have this game here, this book here, rather, which I showed before, 101 Basic Computer Games, and, it, and at some point I want to go through this book, and, like, this is stuff that people used to play in the 70s on computers, because they, don't, they had nothing else to play, and some of them are not bad, like the Star Trek game is in here, but some of them are very simple games, and I wouldn't play those, obviously, but things like, um, I'm thinking of a number... My number is between 1 and 100. What do you think the number is? I have 62. Or actually, it's higher than 62. Guess again. I mean, this is like very, very rudimentary games that people programmed back in the 70s because they didn't really know how to do anything else. Especially, the computers didn't even have a screen back then. It was just like a teletype machine. And there was very limited things you could do without a, without a CRT screen even. So, 
That was state of the art back in late 60s, early 70s. Jeremy unfortunately can't. He's multitasking at the moment, plus he had no idea what he's doing. All right, well, if I don't get another volunteer in the next, uh, I guess, minute, then I will play against the computer at a higher level, and I'll probably get my butt kicked. Oh, Jennifer says she's still here, and she will volunteer. Nobody else raises their hand. All right, sounds good to me. So, Jennifer, start thinking about uh, what your what your band name is going to be and, and your single names and stuff like that. Jer Jeremy is voting for Scott, but Scott is not raising his hand. He's busy eating Burger King or something. <laughs> so what do you guys think, regulars of the channel? Um, do you think this is worth doing? Do you think this is a waste of time? I personally like doing this because um, this channel is very much about preservation. And uh, so the C-Load stuff is really pure preservation. This is more about highlighting a new developer um, who's you know, trying to keep the system alive, which is also preservation. So both of them really fits the, the meat of this channel. Jennifer says that we can't let Stu win. <laughs> Scott says rather we can't let Stu win. All right, well, that won't be too hard, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Although it's unfortunate if we if like you guys win, we're not able to see you you know do your victory, you know, shout of, of joy or whatever else. So. All right, well, think about what your, what your band name is. Jennifer can play if Scott is feeding his 13 stomachs. I don't think Scott is a cow or a, a mutant cow or whatever has 13 stomachs. But Jennifer says she will need help. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, it should be almost done. It's weird that my thing, the other window is still showing like the old game from like an hour ago, or I guess it was 20 minutes ago, but still. 13 stomachs, that's your band name. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, should I go with the Stew Crew again or try to think of something else? <laughs> Dude, stomachs. Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> uh, we got to think of some new songs and everything else, too. Two single titles. As I was open, oh, here we go, okay. Run. Dreamland Software presents a TRS-80 production. I think that went, like, outside of the, the, the range of human hearing to, like, dog hearing at the end there. Comrade Dreamland Software 2020, coding by Cat Matra. You have one year to make it to the top of the album chart. You must choose wisely. When to rehearse, when to perform, when to do a publicity stunt, and when to release your singles. If you don't rehearse, you won't get anywhere. Unlike modern bands, in many cases, you want to know a guitar from a harpsichord. The more you rehearse, the bigger venues you'll play. So that's the hints. That's the, I mean, it says you have to rehearse. The game has said the era of the TRSA and the music industry rocked. So that's, that's the rehearsal has some kind of control over it, somehow. Your album cannot be number one before you've released three singles. Okay, and I guess you can only release three singles. At least that's how I was only able to release three singles. Hit World Tour when your opponent is inside the top 100, see? So your opponent has to be inside the top 100. Wow, salty. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I mean, this guy is obviously an old, crusty codger. No, I'm just kidding. All right, two players. Player one, input band artist name. I'll be player one, I guess. Um... Stew the emu. Player two is 13 stomachs. Stew the emu, what is your album title? Uh, uh, mm, plastic bags forever. 13 Stomachs, what is your album title? <laughs> is it Wow Salty? <laughs> Acid Reflux? Eat the Town Up Yum Yum? <laughs> Jennifer's the playing, so we'll go with her choice. Acid Reflux. 13 Stomachs, Acid Reflux? That's funny, actually. <laughs> Okay. 
Stu the Emu versus 13 Stomachs in the showdown of the century. Let's rock. I was watching Married with Children or Al Bundy when I was going like, let's rock. And they were going like, woo! Right, I'm going to rehearse. Rehearsal. What's your move? You guys can tell me your moves like in advance because you don't have to wait for me to do my move. Just uh, key up your move. Otherwise, this will take a long time. A very long time. Rehearsal of the first two turns. Okay. That's what I'm going to do also. Was it Al Bundy becoming a local football legend in the 70s? Yeah, that's true, I guess. Until uh, he met uh, Peg, who uh, ruined his life, or whatever, right? Plastic bags for my student emu were 502. Wow, that's harsh. Acid reflux by 13 stomachs, number 501. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a little salty there, isn't it? I'm going to rehearse as well. Cruising around his dodge. <laughs> Three stomachs in rehearse. Okay. Charts time. By the way, I like. The, I'm glad that it has some sound. The, the disc version that has no sound must really be annoying. Five oh seven for Stu the Emu. Acid reflux. Number 512. Okay, so I, I improved a little bit. Then turn three single. Turn three single stomach cramps. All right, I'm going to rehearse one more time before, you, before I release a single. Just to make it different. And then I'll release a single on my fourth turn. Release a single. Single time. Stomach cramps. This is like I don't I, don't, I wouldn't go to see this band. I, I feel like I would get to get ill listening to the music, you know. Like who wants to hear like a band called the <laughs> Thirteen Stomachs having stomach cramps <laughs> for five sixty two on the singles chart, but it's there. Five ten for me. Acid reflux by 13 stomachs, 516. I'm still doing better in the, in the, in the album, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. All right, I'm going to release a single now. Uh, let's call it... Uh, mm, uh, let's think. Set tape of passion. <laughs> cool title, boss. Release approved. Jennifer says publicity rehearsal tour. All right, so she's doing publicity. Headline news: Rockstar there's TV on an airplane. Front page news, boss. I think Jennifer's going to win this game, I have a feeling. I think she, she, she figured out the algorithm. How's your single doing? Stomach cramps by 13 stomachs, 568. Okay, album charts. Plastic Bags Forever by Studio Emu, 516. Acid reflux by 13 stomachs. 480. You're winning. All right, so I was going to tour, and you're going to rehearse. Um, where's the option to bribe local stations? Yeah, I agree. I, I'm saying, I said that before. Right? There should be an option to bribe local stations. Scott says, hey, Stu, 13 stomachs all by expressing the inner light and the inner cramps. You need to tune in to take off. I would say it's like the inner... I don't know what. The inner bodily fluids. 
So 13 stomachs rehearsed. Charts time. Sentient of Passion by Studio Emu, number 416. That's terrible. Stomach Cramps by 13 Stomachs, number 569. But your album is doing better. Your your title of your of your of your uh, thing is not good. That's that's why I'm sure. Uh, Four seventy nine. Four eighty two. We're basically tied. All right. I think I'm going to tour again. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, I'll try it. I'm going to tour again. I'm going to rehearse actually. I'll rehearse while you tour. And you're going to tour. Scott says, wow, go for romantic singles, smooth. <laughs> I try, I try, you know. I'm a very smooth guy. We got club gigs. And I think that's, I think my stadium is barely, oh my gosh. <laughs> We're getting a following, boss. I don't know why you did so poorly there. But it may not make any difference with your charts. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'm going to tour again. I'm going to tour now. Jennifer, what's your next move? I guess you want to see your, your stats first. Jennifer is about to hit the animal sounds part of her musical career. I can feel it. Maybe. Let's see album charts. I am a number 488. I didn't really do anything. I did a move. I, I rehearsed. That's fine. Acid Reflux is number 442. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I'm going to tour. Groovy, baby. What are you doing, Jennifer? Concert halls. 2378. Blimey, boss! Blimey! Blimey! The... The illest? <laughs> okay. The illest. I like how they mess with the font and they go from, like, big big letters to small letters. That's sort of, sort of cool. Uh, okay, I'm still I'm still going with cassette tape of passion here. We're 426 on the charts. The illest is going to chart higher, I'm sure. Oh, 448. Okay. Album charts. Plastic bags for my studio EMU number 450. Acid reflux by 13 stomachs number. Whew, 449. Oh. All right, I'm going to rehearse now. What are you doing, Jennifer? <laughs> You're beaten by one percentage point. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Publicity rehearse tour. Okay, publicity. Makes sense. Wish I thought of that. My thing is still on there. The list by 13 stomachs. Still on there. Four fifty seven. And you got you're probably higher because you did publicity, right? Or lower rather. Ooh. Jennifer is like kicking my butt here. We're gonna release another single. Uh single title. The greatest song ever. <laughs> Lisa approved. What do you want to do, Jennifer? 
Oh, you said already rehearse. Well, week t week nine. How many weeks there are? I think it got up to week like twenty something last last game. What's the cap for singles? Your guess is as good as mine. Last time it was three for me, but I don't know like what it'll be for you, like or for me this game. I have no idea. My label didn't let me do it last time. Wow, I'm doing this, I'm this is doing terribly. Well, I guess it's not so terrible. It was three last game, but it doesn't mean it's be three this game. I mean, we just don't know. But I was—I mean, probably it's a good assumption to make. My Smiley album sucks. Four twenty. All right, I'm gonna try a publicity stunt this time. Publicity stunt. Yay! That's a good one, I think. Front page, boss. And you were doing a tour. Tour time. Hurry, baby. We got club gigs. For some reason, your tours are not doing too well. 104. It's like better than this channel, at least. So, you know. <laughs> this is not true. I, 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 do better, I do better views of that after the fact. On the live streams, it's not, it's not that much. But uh, people do watch it after the fact. All right. 299. Oh, it said at the intro. No, it didn't say that at the intro. What it said at the intro, Scott, is you need three singles to be able to have your your album chart at number one. That's what it said. It didn't say the maximum is three singles. For giddy up four oh nine, giddy up four oh nine. But you're still winning, even though you're, you're even though nobody wants to go to your concert, Jennifer. You're still winning the game somehow. All right, you're rehearsing. I'm also going to rehearse. <laughs> Scott says, Jennifer, your next single needs to be a direct message towards Stu. Intimidate him. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're right. Like, we, we, we will throw up on you. <laughs> oh, man. Singles chart. Grace song ever by Stu the Emu, number 308. It's pretty bad. Singles chart. The oldest by 13 Stomachs, 467. But it's the album that counts, not the single. Album charts. Plastic Bags Rare by Stu the Emu, number 418. I'm going to do a tour now. Acid Reflux by 13 Stomachs, number... For 13. Still, you're winning. All right, I'm going to go on tour. Tour. And Jennifer's going to rehearse again. What do I got this time? Come on. Concert halls again. Nah. I went to the stadium. She's rehearsing. What's next, Jennifer? Publicity next. Okay. The illest by 13 stomachs. Like those these singles have a lot of longevity here. Plastic bags forever is number 412. Yeah, that sucks. Acid Reflux is number 416. All right, so I have, now I have a slight lead. All right, I'm going to rehearse again. At least I got a concert hall. <laughs> That's true. At least I got a concert hall. Uh, and you are going to do publicity. Headline news. <laughs> Busty Babe gets boobs out. <laughs> Sorry, boss. No front page. Sorry, Jennifer. You, you, got, you know, the computer was willing to streak through London like 50 times. Maybe that would have beaten the busty babe, but uh, you unfortunately were only willing to... I don't know what you did. <laughs> oh, man, this is messed up. <laughs> Scott says, wow. 
Scott, you say wow because you're shocked that the game went there, or you say wow because you're excited about the headline? I'm guessing the latter. What happened? All right, I was up by a few a little bit. All right, I'm going to go tour again. What are you doing, Jennifer? Your publicity yeah. stunt didn't work out. You do another publicity stunt? Stadium tour, all right. All right, 73,000. We are superstars. Publicity again. <laughs> Plus D1. <laughs> Won't deter me from the front page, Jennifer says. That's awesome. You're awesome, Jennifer. I like that attitude. All right, Jennifer says publicity stunt. Headline news. Aston Villa win Premier League. <laughs> we missed out today, boss. Uh, you can always try again. You want my stadium tour? It's 33,000 people. I think it's good to release another single now. Into the into the wake of my uh, into my uh, success here, theoretically, right? It may not work, but I'll try it anyway. How's my album doing? Oh, it didn't. Even, oh, it didn't. Even, I don't, that was it. Okay, release single. Single time. Pepto Bismol forever. Yeah, I took it right to right took it right at you guys with that title. Pepto Bismol forever. You don't want any ill stomachs or whatever. <laughs> Jefferson says I will get publicity to work. All right, so we'll publicity stunt again. I guess you're picking. <laughs> Headline news. There you go. You got it that time. Rockstar, the team out of airplane. Front page news, boss. Charts time. I'm on the singles chart. Fepto Abyssal Forever, number 185. That sucks. Come on. I feel like the last game I got like number one of the single chart at this point. But I guess that was the easy mode, so. My album is only 380. Alright, I think I'm going to try Publicity Stunt. I'm going to try Publicity Stunt now. What are you doing? Oh, snap. Shots right out of the starboard board. Rockstar, there's other Rockstar out of here playing. <laughs> nice. What's your, what's your move, Jennifer? Villainy, their name is Stu. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Rockstar, there's other Rockstar out of here playing. What are you doing, Jennifer? What's your move? Release a single, Projectile Vomit. Projectile vomit. Release approved. Sounds pretty disgusting. <laughs> Charts time. Wait, what's your album cover look like? It's like you puking on it or something? <laughs> Pepto Bismol Forever is at 192. I guess this, this is like direct opposition. Pepto Bismol versus Projectile Vomit. Ooh. How about the albums? We're still not doing too well here. And I wonder if we can only release three singles. They're both not doing too well. Alright, I'm going to rehearse. You're touring. Tour time. Drew it, baby. Let's see what happens on the tour. Are we out of the... Oh, concert halls. All right. Out of the clubs. 1437 in attendance. Looking good, boss. So the person saying looking good, boss, is really fire. I, I, that person should be fired. They're not... They're, they're way too, like, low expectations. Let's see if that helps your single or your album. I'm down to number 201. And you are down to, let's see, 372. Stu's Reviews. <laughs> You'll never find a more wretched hive. Scum VM and Villa. It's cute. I'm at 369. And you're at 398. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also gonna rehearse again. Rehearse. 
What are you doing after rehearsing? There's your rehearse. I'm going to rehearse a third time, I think. Because I don't know what, what the rehearsal does, but it seems like it helps. She's touring. Now I'm going to wait to tour before I rehearse another time. I want to keep my fans really, you know, excited and everything. I don't want, I don't want to, like, oversaturate the market with too much stew. Because too much stew cannot, you know, is not always a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, especially if it's, like, beef stew with, like, carrots and stuff. Like, you know, some of it, it's good sometimes, but too much could not be a good thing sometimes. My album is, like, slipping really far down the charts here. And you are... Even further down the charts, but you're gonna to tour now. I'm gonna rehearse one more time. Rehearse, and you're gonna to tour, and we'll see what that does. Tour. Never been anyone excited about Septimizel. My two saturation level is at 34 right now. Pretty good, but I can use a booster. All right, Jennifer is at concert hall still. Average attendance, 1908. That was a good year. Looking good, boss. Charts time. Now, I'm going to tour this time. I'm going to tour. I am going to tour! <clears throat> I need a drink. I am Captain Kirk! Jennifer says rehearse, then tour. Okay, sounds like a plan. And I'm going to tour the rehearse, probably. 373. Oh, you're beating me now. All right. It's on. Now I'm going to tour. Tour time, boss. Because in this game, the quality of your tour is based on how much you rehearse in your garage. Stadium tour, boss. Wow. 85,000 in attendance. Yay! We're superstars. And you are rehearsing now, right? Yeah? Oh, yeah, you're rehearsing. I'm going to tour again. Twice in a row tour. Just to shake it up a little bit. Shake it up. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Shake it up. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. We gotta think of some good songs to sing on this stream because it's all like supposed to be singing and stuff, right? Projectile vomit. Like, There's probably, that'd probably be like an Animaniacs skit, I'm pretty sure. 366. What was I? I didn't even see. I missed it. All right, I'm going to tour again, and Jennifer's also going to tour. Stadium tour. Using pesto flavor and pepto bismol. Also try our French onion soup, beef liver, and dragon flute flavors. I oh, see my stadium, my attendance went way down because I, 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 I toured again too quickly. And she's also touring. Will she make it to a stadium this time? Let's see. Nope, still concert halls. 1309. It's like I should have complained about my whatever mine was. Look good, boss! Alright, we'll take that guy out back and shoot him. Look good, boss! He's dead. Alright, right, the singles are gone. I wonder if I can reset their single now. I'm gonna try and see what happens. I'm still number 317. That's horrible. Single. All right. Oh, this, this, this is. Oh, damn. I thought it was gonna let me do a single, then it, it won't. That sucks. Uh... All right, I guess I'll rehearse. Every tour, someone gets doused. With what? <laughs> Projectile vomit? Are you like staying up there barfing on the on the crowd? Is that what you're doing, Jennifer? I think you missed your call. You should have been uh, 
He should have been a projectile vomiter rock star. Like a part of Kiss or something. You're like basically Kiss. Sing your tongue out and like vomiting on people. 322. There's not a lot I could do. See, this, this is where the game is starting to bog down because I can't do a world tour, right? I can't. And I can't release another single. So I only have three options now. It's basically tour, publicity stunt, or rehearse. And I'm not sure an album... I guess an album chart position check is just if you forgot where you are. Jennifer says another publicity. Because the last one failed. We all going to tour again. Steam tour. Wow, that's the biggest I've seen so far. 99,000. I wonder if that number is completely random, though. Alright, 13 stomachs is due to publicity. <laughs> the publicity seems like really hit or miss in this game. Then tour again. Okay. Let's see how we are on the charts. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably rehearse now. Plastic bags forever. 281. We're getting there, but very slowly. Acid reflux. 386. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll try a publicity stunt. You had two failed ones. Maybe I can get like a, a good one. Damn. The same exact one! <laughs> that happened to you too! The giant goldfish killed shark twi twice in a row. Alright, you're in a tour. Groovy, baby. Rehearsal after the tour. Oh, wow, you're down to club gigs. What happened? Wow, that's weird. You're you're like badass goldfish. For some reason your 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 album your your band is not too popular, but your char album is still do almost as well as my album. I sell out like ninety nine thousand crowds in stadiums, and my I'm on three hundred two on the charts. Like that's BS. That's crap. All right, we're both rehearsing now. What, what's your next move after the rehearsal? And I'm going to re rehearse again, I think. Apparently, projectile vomit to audience members is not as popular as we had planned. Charts time. I mean, nothing should really change. Theoretically, like, I, I don't know why our, our things would go up or down unless we actually tour. Rehearsal. Okay, I think we're both rehearsing. Both going to rehearse. See if it pays off. Okay, everybody... One, two, three. Do 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 I'm going to, just to make it a little bit different, I'm going to rehearse a third time, and then I'll tour. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? I'll tour again. Do, 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 Where's my guitar? Hold on a second. Stadium tour. That's all I meant to do. I'm going to turn that off. All right, now I'm all ready here. What happened? I thought I hit tour. It didn't work. All right. Sorry. Okay, here we go. I got my guitar in here. We got concert halls. 
Uh, I haven't used this in a long time. It's pretty like messed up and dirty. Charts time. Rehearsal, then tour, then publicity tour. Okay. I'm at number 268. So I'm going to do rehearsal again, and you're going to do publicity. Come on. There's things are all tangled up. All right, I'm going to do rehearse. Oh. Now this is all tangled. There we go. <laughs> Got my Guitar Hero guitar here. We're going to rock out with Guitar Hero. Haven't done this in a long time. Uh, all right, I'm doing tour. You're going to do tour also. Uh-oh. <laughs> Like, I used to play this game all the time, but like I haven't played it forever. Actually, I really sucked at it. All right, I, I got another tour. You're doing a tour also. My connection dropped. Oh shoot! My connection. It said my encoding overloaded. Whoops. Is it working now? That's weird. Is it working now or did it, did it drop out completely and it's not back yet? It's still dropping. All right, hold on a second. Piece of garbage. Maybe that will help. All right, hold on. All right, hopefully that will hopefully that will do it. This connection is very spotty now. All right, is it better now? Is it better now? Is it better now? I guess it didn't like my my Guitar Hero. Uh, it's still choppy. It shouldn't be choppy anymore. If it's choppy, it may be just like just rebuffering or something. Is it, Scott, is it, seem, is it seem better now? I can turn off the the thing and turn it right back on if 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 it's really not working, but it should it should turn back on right now. Better? Okay, good. All right, cool. All right, so what's the next move here? Uh, I don't know what the hell to do to do at this point. I'll rehearse. Sorry about that. I think it really just didn't like my Guitar Hero, so I decided to drop the connection because it was just uh, messing things up too much. Looks like there's a delay on reading things a minute after you type. That's not good. Uh, Jennifer, what were you doing here? Was it publicity also? I forgot where you were. Jennifer? Rehearse, okay. Alright, I'm gonna try publicity stunt after this, but this is like this is really like dragging on here, honestly. It was like week thirty already or something? I don't know what I'm going to do to get, like, people to, like, buy my album. I don't know how many steams I have to sell out. 329. Okay, week 31. I'll do publicity stuff. What are you doing, Jennifer? No rehearsals before. Yay. I think that's good. Jennifer? There's a big delay. All right, hold on a second. Okay, is that better? I, I killed it and restarted it. Is it better now? Is there a diet toilet option? I don't think so. Gardner crashes lawnmower into pub. We missed out today, boss. 
Publicity again? Okay. I'm going to rehearse while you do publicity. Three forty one. Rehearse. Well, you do put your new publicity again. Hopefully, you get a better publicity this time. That Gardner seems like he crashed uh, lawnmower to the pub a bunch of times. Yeah, I, that's, I restarted the stream. I think it was getting very behind for some reason, Scott. So I, that that should that fixed it hopefully. All right, uh, you're you're not doing well with the publicity, Jennifer. You gotta get better publicity. You gotta you, you need a better publicist. We better marketing team, I think. All right, I'm gonna tour now. Too bad the reflux can't slide back as much as my ratings. Usually crash the lawnmower after the pub. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what are you doing again? Are you going to do publicity again, or are you going to do a tour now? Stadium tour, boss. 64,000. They're going crazy. They're going crazy. Uh, what are you doing, Jennifer? Another, you're doing a tour, right? A tour. Tour time. Grew baby. Concert halls. You're moving up in the world. Layla. Got me on my knees, Layla. Tell me, darling, please, Layla. Watch your own e biography on Has Been Rockstar Option. That's funny. 219. This is going on forever. We're losing people on the stream here too, I think. But probably that technical difficulty didn't help. I uh, rehearse. I want to tour again. Jefferson's rehearsal times two. Okay. Rehearse. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to tour again. I'm touring. I am touring. Once it tells us these standings, of course. Charts time. Album charts. This is much lower than you feed the computer. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> the special pink T new song. That's probably the reason why. Or it could just be that I was on very easy mode, so let me win. I don't know. And now I have a real opponent, so it's taking me longer. I don't know. I'm going to tour, though. I think I was more aggressive last time. I have this song in my head. I'm not sure what song it is. The one with the deep voice guy was like, uh, like, no, no, no. I wish I remember the song it was. Damn. 76,000. We are superstars. Yay. Yay. And so he's always rehearsing. I think Jennifer C is putting a date on you. She's not playing to win, she's playing for a stalemate. Who oh, by Mr. Cole Robbie? Kicked his butt, Dana. Where's you? You do a good job of wearing me down. By the way, I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing patience. What the hell? I, I don't know. This game is getting get on my nerves. But I will play a little bit longer. Rehearse again. What are you doing, Jennifer? What's your move? What is Jennifer's move? What is Jennifer going to do to her? I'm turning my neck. <laughs> After all that. Concert halls. Jennifer still has not been able to break the stadium barrier. It could be because uh, in the 70s they weren't very progressive and there weren't a lot of women band leaders, so maybe that's why. I don't know. But I doubt it. Uh, not sure it's possible to do the really purring space. So that's the thing, Scott. The The game that this was based on, um, the Rockstar in our hamster, I think there's more stuff going on. But this has less less options. What are you doing next, Jennifer? Come on. I'm tired of this. 
Just keep touring. <laughs> Stadium tour, boss. Six thousand, sixty thousand. They go crazy. Quit bad. <laughs> Let's see what happens this time in your tour. See if it's a winning strategy or not. That's still concert halls. Average attendance twenty seven ninety. Come on, let's go, let's go. It's become a numbers game at this point. One ninety four. Is that the best I've done so far? It might be. Acid reflux number two. Oh, it's really close. It's really close. It makes no sense why it's so close. I'm just going to tour again, too. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, though, really. Like, why would... If... if Why would our attendance be so different and our, and our charting would be so... So similar? It's probably going to go down now, I bet you. Yeah, I went down from 60,000 to 54. Because I didn't, I didn't rehearse. But hopefully that's still some momentum. Literally just tour. <laughs> All right, you can tour. You can tour if you want to. But you're still in concert halls. I think it went up though. Blimey, boss! Charts time. Come on, one seventy-five. That's good. It's getting better. Acid reflux. What? 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 That's BS. All right, I'm, re I'm rehearsing. And Jennifer's in a tour again, it sounds like. It looks like you're otherwise. How are you winning? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I smell the world tour coming on. Yeah, maybe for me. She's going to go like to 99 or something. Concert halls. She's, I mean, maybe, you know, her following though is very, you know, it's the right demographic and like to buy albums. I mean, that's what I'm assuming at this point. Because I went down to the rankings, which makes sense, sudden tour. Acid reflux. What? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Or I'm going to world tour now. What? Why can't we do that? Why can't I do that? It's crap. Why can't I do that? And I can't release a single. I'll just tour, I guess. Why can't I world do a world tour? I can't figure this out. The Grateful Dead, a small at Yule Fairies. Yeah, exactly. I'm like selling out stadiums here. Oh, now it's, I'm not quite selling them out this time. 46,000 only. Oh, you just going to, I guess you're touring again, right? Okay. It seems like a good strategy for you. Still in concert halls. But it seems like touring uh, increases your your your, uh, your performance, your album. Charts time. I'm 122 now. Sixty-seven. Yeah, the instruction said that once other players in the top of hundred world tour is possible. I'll try it again. All right, now it worked. World tour. We rocked. Global front page news. We gotta be number one. What about you? Are you touring again, Jennifer? Tour. Groovy baby. Maybe it's not quite under 100. Maybe it's like 190. You got concert halls. 
2344. Blobby Boss. Folly Soul World Tour. Charts time. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Stu the Emu is number one with the multi platinum Sully Allen plastic bags forever! Plastic bags forever! Yay! I'm such a bad loser. Bad winner, I mean. <laughs> I don't get this game. So, okay, I guess the summary of this game, for my opinion, is it's fun, but it's limited. I wish... <laughs> Scott will never hear the end of this now. Jennifer's never hear the end of this now, Scott. That's what you meant. I wish that there was a version... Maybe that took up more memory, but had some more like randomness and more strings and more options. And I wish you could release more than three singles, especially since they disappear after a while. So like, why can't you just release some more? So I wish there was a little more options. I wish there was a little more randomness, a few things that happen, but it is fun. Um, I don't know how much replayability it has because I mean, you think it's so it's like you don't understand how it's working. It's it's replayable, but at the same time, you get frustrated. It takes a long time. So I'm not sure how replayable really it is, but I, I enjoyed it. I think I'm, I'm glad that I bought it. I'm glad that I streamed it on this channel. I think it's fun. I think um, if you're into TRS-80, you should you should think about buying this game to support the developer. Jennifer says there's not enough strategy involved, and I agree. And there was, especially in the end, there wasn't enough options. In the beginning, there was a bunch of options, but then once you finish your three singles, then you're basically done. And you can't world tour except under very specific circumstances. So you're limited to a few options and the publicity usually backfires on you. So, yeah, I think it could definitely be better. And maybe the developer can you know, release a, v a V2 or something that is better. It's like I said, with more memory. But it's definitely a good, a good, a good effort. And I do look forward to playing the other games that this guy put out, and which I already bought. Like I said, uh, that has, uh, you know, that have... Uh, Star Trek theme and stuff like that, and also based on the movie War Games. Scott says, fun game to play with a friend to show the Tira Sadie and her laugh in a retro game. Totally worth it. Yeah, Scott has a good attitude. I agree. Um, and it was fun, like, as a two-person, like, party game. I think, you know, also, honestly, like, streaming like this is a little bit weird. If Jennifer and I were in the same room and we were playing it together, there was a bunch of other people crowded around drinking, you know, having, you know, inebriated. <laughs> we probably had a little more fun with it as well. And we probably would have cared it was taking so long. Maybe we could have made it, like, every time you, you fail publicity, take a drink or something like that. Scott's is no joke, probably fun to play Intoxicated. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, I did I did enjoy it. Um, like I said, probably not too much replay value, but I'm glad that I that I checked it out. I'm glad that, I, that you guys checked it out. If you're watching this stream after the fact, please let me know what you think of the game in the comment section, and please let me know if you'd want me to do more stuff like this in the in the channel, in the stream, or live stream, or not live. And uh, hit like if you like this video, if you like the game, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, if you want to see more stuff like this, because I definitely do plan to do more tier of Sadie games in the future. It's definitely a niche, which is not, uh, not a lot of other channels are doing, that's for sure. There's a lot of really interesting stuff out there to cover that I definitely want to cover, so... I will do that. Next time we stream will be an adventure game. Maybe a TRS-80 adventure game. I have to think about it, but that's definitely an option. Probably later in the week. But for now, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jennifer, for being my opponent, my worthy opponent in this game. That was a lot of fun. Um, and thank you, uh, everybody else who is lurking around and not talking too much. But uh, good, good, good spending some time with you guys. Have a good evening. And uh, peace out, everybody. Have a great night. And if you're watching this after the fact, we'll leave some comments. That's the important thing. Talk to you guys all later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. I figured I'd turn this thing off. Here we go.